Next, we have uh, my friends uh, from Luminous, uh, David uh, Pringle and Richard Amadrill. And David, what the heck is that you're holding? <laughs> well, we go from the uh, small, beautiful, lightweight to the big, ugly, heavy monster. This is our 100,000 watt soft sun lamp. Uh, the fixture is a hell, hell of a lot bigger. And uh, uh, interesting enough, this was used, 20 of these were used about 15 years ago on terminal. Uh, and for months, lighting that big uh, terminal set. Uh, and of course, since then, cameras have gotten more sensitive. Uh, you no longer need light to get an exposure, but you still need the right amount of light in the right place. You have to go against the sun. You have to fill with and match it. Yeah. So uh, uh, that being said, uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast is about to come out, and they used ten of these on one stage. Uh, just you know, very recently, in spite of the uh, sensitive CMOS sensors and everything. They wanted a very even, soft, even, very even light. Uh, so, uh, although there were 10 of them, uh, they, they reportedly only ran them at 15%. Uh, uh, well, they're great for daylight fill as well. That's sort of the original idea, right? Yeah, daylight fill and uh, 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 the Hobbit used them. And the reason they used them is not because the cinematographer ordered them, but because the production manager ordered them. And uh, he had experience with them in Florida on, on a shoot where uh, uh, they used, Juan Riz and Chia used them uh, to, uh, uh, in Florida you get this bright morning sun, and then around midday the clouds start rolling in, and you're in and out of the clouds all day, and you're sitting there like this looking through, and, and uh, okay, get ready, get ready, okay, the sun's coming out, get ready, okay, hurry up, shoot, go, 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 go. And then the clouds come again, and then it's a, a disaster. So he used these two, uh, uh, two of them on a condor uh, to establish a, a, a level, and uh, sun in and out, in and out, didn't matter, boy, a couple of weeks, he fought us tooth and nail, I don't need those damn things, that's a bunch of crap, we don't need those, but the uh, cinematographer, prevailed, and uh, a couple weeks later, the production manager called us, and he said, thank you so much. Those lights have saved my ass so many times, and he ordered, He went to the Hobbit next, and he ordered them for that. And they can extend their day this way. Yeah, extend your day. Uh, another name for it is the overtime light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, we've been doing this kind of stuff for, I hate to think how long, a uh, good 25 years or more. Uh, starting with the lightning strikes, you know, the brief, uh, same kind of, it's very similar lamp technology, uh, but uh, uh, instead of a thousand, hundred thousand watts being this big for continuous, we can get a, a 70,000 watt in something this long for one and a half seconds at a time. And those were the champions for uh, flicker. They were great, didn't flicker under any conditions, uh, any of your lights, so why is uh, that? Since we specialize in high intensity, lighting, uh, we've been doing car crash testing stuff, and the car crash guys said, oh, we gotta have LEDs, we gotta have LEDs, and uh, so I said, okay, okay. At that time, the LED color was not very good, but those guys don't care about color, they don't even know what it is. So we, <laughs> so we started doing that, we started doing this, this sort of thing uh, uh, for uh, car crash testing, 1,200 watts for 10 seconds for a car crash test. Uh, in that little package. In that little package. And recently now with the color, uh, now that's uh, 95 uh, CRI, 98 TCLI uh, rated, and we do it for lightning strikes flash, paparazzi flash, that one and, and, and the one there. Uh, uh, you're lucky they're not uh, shooting it at you. Uh, anyway. Uh, Standard lightning strikes controller, same that they're used to. And basically, out of the 1,200 watt LED, we get about the same amount of light center beam that we do in our 8K paparazzi. And put it right into a household circuit. Yeah, so that's equal to our 8,000 watt version of this. Uh, one and a half seconds. Uh, and this is the one we tested with the DCS uh, 
a few months back uh, for high speed. Uh, we've been doing these for automotive car crash testing. GE Aviation uses our uh, LEDs and our and our uh, uh, big lamps for their uh, aviation engine testing. And what's the size of this? This is 1,200 watts. Same, same light engine, but to same LED, but to keep it on continuous, we need the fan and the heat sink and everything you see here. So that's why it's basically for high speed. You'd have a little issue with sound. Yeah, yeah, there is a fan in here, the sound, uh, so it's not. Uh, uh, but for tabletop high speed, it works great. You can dim it, no flicker with dimming. Now the reason they don't flicker when they're dimming is because we've been doing this car crash testing and the, especially the AVH, GE aviation engine testing, we got in a situation where we had to provide LEDs that could dim and not flicker. And they're real critical. They shoot at 100,000 frames a second. Uh, uh, they're uh, uh, blowing up a, a $25 million aircraft engine and uh, they don't want any fuck ups. They don't want to have to re reshoot it. Uh, Leap. <laughs> oh, sorry. Screw ups. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, anyway, so we developed power supplies, uh, did some modifications and a lot of testing and R&D and got power supplies that you can dim and don't flicker. Now, your model is mostly rental, I understand? Primarily rental, especially our traditional big stuff. Uh, uh, and most, for most people, it doesn't make sense to buy it, and, and, and it's an occasional thing. Some of our LEDs uh, uh, we do sell. Uh, we got some new uh, panel light, edge lit panel light LEDs uh, coming out soon. We'll have some at uh, NAB, hopefully, and definitely Cinegear, uh high wattage uh, edge lit panel lights. Well, we'll see you there. Yes, sir. Thanks, James.